in this video, I'm going to cover creating the site uh, that you need to prepare for your project for Brooklyn. And um, this is the proposed site. What I have done is I've exported the GIS information. I'm aware that your site is slightly bigger than this, so make the necessary adjustments. But I've got the 3D contours for you. And I've also got the, the cadastral stuff and the center line of the road. So you can still download the aerial photograph for more services and scale it accordingly once you put in the drawing. But for this exercise, I'm going to show you how to quickly make the site with the contour information I've given you. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to Revit. Okay, I'm going to save this project. So save as DWG on my desktop. Okay, I can close this. Okay, so once I'm in Revit, just remember start a project using your template. That's very important. So new remember browse template. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so the first thing is going to go to site. So what you need to do, remember that drawing is always in meters. So you're going to go to insert. Okay, you're going to say um, import CAD. Go find the desktop uh, site information. Remember units, force it to meters. Um, here I want it manual uh, center because it's so far away from the origin. Here I want to um, Use the manual center function. Okay, I'm going to press uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Everything will be the same. So press open. See what it does is it finds the center of the drawing and it allows me to place it. So I'm going to put it over there for the time being. That's looking quite good. And I'm going to move, grab the file again. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it everything to this origin over here. So move this from there to there. I'm just going to set up the contours. I think there's enough um, information on how to go and set up the rest of the information. If I use the, okay, if I go to 3D view, and you can see my contours are way up there, which is correct. Okay, we'll need to fix that. Things are very, uh, there are slight differences with Revit 2020, which I'll need to discuss with you as well. Okay, all right, so I've got my information. All I need to do now is go to uh, Massing and Site, uh, Topography. Uh, we're going to say create select imported instances, check none, contours, press OK. All right, and then finish. So in 3D view, you can have your contours. Okay, and you see they perfectly, they match the, the site perfectly. Just remember, I'm going to go and reset this. So I don't want, I don't want that to interfere. So for this one, I'm going to change these at... So my majors will be, primaries will be at a meter, or insert, and this will be multi-value again. Remember, copy this information. Sometimes you're going to make it higher. This should kind of work for the time being. And then multi-values, everything else, and this will be at 250. Press apply. Okay. And just make sure that this is way above. So what I tend to do is get rid of, it's quite easy. So I'm going to go 1900000. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, copy this, control C, go adjust it again, control V, apply. Okay, great. So we've got our major contours, our primary contours at a meter and our 250s. We can make this 500 for now. It depends how you want to press OK. So our major contours will be the, the nice thick ones and the minors will be the rest. But we can, we can play with that a bit later. Anyway, so we've got our contours in play, which is what I want to see. And you see it perfectly follows the AutoCAD file. There's a bit of a flat. But in essence, I'm happy with that. Okay. Go back to my site view. Okay, your site view won't show. Just remember, you need to change your view range. So this will just need to put a... So here, there'll be one... Nine zero 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 zero. Copy this. Control C. Control V. To supply. Okay. So now I can see my site information. I'm going to adjust that a bit later. 
Okay, but all I'm interested for now, so timing, wireframe, I've got this right more or less where I want it. Uh, my contour is in the right place. I can move this project base point at any, any point, but remember, we're just going to try and put our site information right on the corner. Here. Okay, so I've got my site information correct. I've got my DWG files in. Now, if you want to create your model in the same file because we're doing one, build, one building, you will need to move your contours down because if you look at elevation, your site's way up there and your levels are way down there. Okay, so typically in the past, what I what I explained was you need to find so three view. So if you get a VG um, a model and you go to site information, what I have realized uh, there's now an internal origin. So your project base point no longer. So in the past, I showed you how to move your project base point down. That no longer applies. So we'll need to. Is another tool that we'll need to use. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go and put in my contour labels because I want to establish where my zero sits on my site. Okay, so these just remember change them to be doesn't matter project base point at, the, at this point in time, it doesn't really matter because we will fix that in a minute. So meters and I want it to two decimal places. Okay, press apply, press OK. Okay. So this is 1388. So I'm going to assume 13885. So what I'll do is I'm going to make this my level zero because it's kind of in the middle of my site and this is a good level to work on. Yes, for the street you want this higher than the street a little bit by 500 mil, but this is going to be my new level zero. So this 1388, okay? Very important. So I'm going to go and find. I'm just going to make a note of that somewhere. Okay, so I've made a note of it. One three eight eight. Okay. Now, in the past, we could have grabbed this this project base point, and I could have changed the elevation very quickly. However, that no longer applies in 2020. So what you need to do is you need to go to architecture. So you need to go to architecture or the elevation. So I need to move all this information. I need to move the whole project down relative. So the survey point needs to, to move in essence. Okay. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to move my topo surface. I'm going to grab my topography and I'm going to move my topography down by that uh, 1388. Okay, so grab my topography and I'm going to move that down. Move, doesn't matter, and you're going to type 1388000. So it's 138 enter. Okay, so you'll find that our topography now sits on our site correctly. Okay, where we want our level zero to start. However, if I go to I'll go to my site, you'll see that this, this will read a zero, which is correct. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to move our survey point. So we need, we need to move our project in relation to our survey point to make this read correctly again. Okay, so you can go to South Elevation. Okay, and I'm going to move my project. So here you're going to go to Manage, Position, and I'm going to say... Um, Relocate project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my project here. I'm going to drag it up by one three eight eight zero zero zero. Enter. Doesn't matter. My project's still going to be at the right right point. This is still going to say zero. It just means if I went to VG and I switched on my site information and I showed my survey points, my project points and survey points. Press OK. There's my survey point over there, and here's my project, okay, which is correct. So if I go back here and I go and change this, this is now correct. Okay, so in relation to my project base points, that's all changed, and you see all of this is reading correct again. 
Okay, so once I've got the contour information, you can quickly establish your south boundaries, etc. And um, you should be good to go. Thank you.